Hey guys, how you doing? It's Art from Arts Model Trains. We're here to check out this Mecca Custom Run Southern Pacific GS4. A couple weeks ago, I was texting with my buddy and I was telling him how I was in the market for a GS4 potentially looking for one in the daylight paint scheme. And I was unsure if I could, you know, find one I wanted in the price range I was looking for. I had checked uh, eBay and uh, the forums and things like that and trains.com. And if speaking of trains, if you guys are shopping trains.com, please use my code AMT to save $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. That is a one time use code. And if you've already used that and some of the codes from our other affiliates, please use the affiliate link below. It helps support this channel and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, um, when Mecca's custom run came out, I was able to get one of these engines to review for you guys. So. This is actually a GS4, but in the all black paint scheme with the Southern Pacific lines tagging on the tender and white pinstriping and some other really cool details that you'll see when I get you guys in closer. It is a, uh, obviously from the purple box, MTH Premier engine just released with their latest run. Um, rated for 054 curves. Uh, I will say I've run it on 048. Looks a little awkward, but it works. Um, this is actually a real paint scheme. This was, uh, so everybody probably remembers the GS4 from the daylight paint scheme. This was done later in life uh, in the engine. It was painted in this paint scheme and then repainted to be the American Freedom Train. So it no longer exists in this paint scheme, which I think kind of makes it really cool. And this black just looks so sleek going along the lines. Um, really cool and it's typical of an MTH engine. Smokes great. Sounds are pretty decent. Um, the uh, whistle uh, horn is a little weak. Uh, you have to turn the volume up a little bit to get that sounding well. Um, unfortunately, I only have the remote commander, so I can't test out some of the advanced features and the whistle steam, but it does include all of that. Um, it is a fantastic premier engine, everything you come to expect from MTH. So let's get you guys off the stand and take a closer look at it. And if you guys are interested in this engine, please check out the Mecca website. They have this engine, other engines, rolling stock, all up there for sale at great prices. There's some really cool custom runs that they do. So I encourage you guys to check it out. All right, so before we put any power on the track, let's just start by checking this out up close from right here, uh, starting at the front. There are two lights. There's a Mars light and a normal headlight operating Mars light that does flash uh, number boards that are not illuminated right now, but they will illuminate once you start it up. There's a dummy coupler and I cannot remember if there is a real coupler in the box. I'll have to check that out and put a, uh, a note on the video here. And then uh, your smoke funnel up top and coming along the sides here. What's really cool if you guys can make it out, let's see if I can get it to focus here you can see on the wheel, there's actually stars in the middle of the wheel, which is really cool. Um, and some other great detail along the side, separately applied details, legible builder plates. You can pull back so you guys can see it completely and just, you know, really slick. Um, let's go up top and you guys can see where all the add-on details are up here. And I don't have I said the, the remote to make the whistle steam work, but this is where the whistle steam would come out of, right up here in the, in the front. And then you have the illuminated uh, number boards again on the side here. Uh, illuminated interior of the cabin with the crew figures. The little doors do slide. Excuse me, the little windows do slide. Can't really make them move too well, sorry. And then up top, this hatch in the front here pops up a little bit which is kind of cool, and this one slides forward. And what's neat is if you slide that one forward, there's a little magnetic hatch here, and these two doors open up in the back here. I have been leaving the little magnet there and the door shut just because I was worried about it making contact with the tender as it went around. And then on the tender here, you could see the nice crisp lines and white lettering, Southern Pacific lines with the riveting. And around back here, very crisp, separately applied handrails and ladders there, backup light, all the typical stuff you would expect. Um, up top here, under these hatches, you have, uh, as per MTH typical, you get some of these little uh, knobs for the volume and the smoke. And then I believe these other two are blank. 
Um, and then this little valve here for the, the water opens up. Uh, water or fuel, I'm not sure which one that would be. So just really, really a crisp engine. Really looks sleek with the black. Um, I wasn't sure I would like the black and if I would like the daylight version better, but this black just has been on the rails since I got it and it's, you know, looks fantastic. It's just amazing around the engine. Now I don't have daylight passenger cars, so when I go ahead and run this for you guys, I'm gonna just run it with some extra rolling stock I have here that was already on the rails. But let me get some power to the track and I'll get this started up. And like I said, unfortunately I don't have full control with the remote, but it uh, does allow you to play a little bit with some of the sounds and stuff. You guys can get a sense of how this sounds. So thanks for watching guys. This is another engine that I got to borrow that I have to give back and I'm struggling with that decision. I really have been working the numbers trying to figure out how I could keep it. It's just a gorgeous engine, uh, both in its paint scheme, its detail, but also the way it runs. As you can see, it was buttery smooth. Um, I've had it pulling all sorts of different freight on the line. Again, nice and powerful, doesn't hesitate at all. Um, and you know, smokes great, typical MTH in that manner too. So please be sure to like and subscribe guys. And like I said, check out the Mecca website if you're interested in one of these, they don't have many of them.